Okay, we need to talk about what happened in the last House of the Dragon episode. Really wasn't that much that happened this episode that was just like, oh, so amazing. You know, it was just kind of like a, to me, a filler episode, like giving us some information. It wasn't too much fighting, really. Um, not much dragon action. Aside from them trying to find new writers for the dragons. When is Damon going to be unalived? Because <laughs> I'm so sick of seeing him that it's not even funny. Like, to me, his scenes are literally pointless. We don't care about his past. The only thing that made him interesting was his relationship with Renera. That was literally it. That was the only thing that made him likable. So the fact that he is not with her, he's not supporting her, he's trying to take her crown. We're tired of him. Get rid of him. As far as Aegon, why didn't he just tell, you know, his counsel, anybody <laughs> about what happened? Like, you're that scared. What is Aemon going to do? Like, if he's not in a room, you tell someone you trust, right? You're the king. Get him beheaded. I don't understand what, I mean, I guess it's for the plot. <laughs> like, why? It makes no sense that he didn't say anything. Um, you might as well just, you know, give up at this point, hun. <laughs> now, at the end of the episode, they said they saw someone writing sea smoke. And as far as who I think was able to, you know, tame the dragon, I, I don't know his name, but that brother, the bastard brother of um, the Valerian people. Aren't they Valerian? I think they are. Because the dragon, you know, was staring him down. So I don't think he unalive them i think that somehow he was able to tame the dragon and does that mean that he's on Rhaenyra's side i would think so because i think it was rainy's her husband is on Rhaenyra's side so the bastard would probably be on Rhaenyra's side unless he hates his father that much to go to green but that wouldn't make sense so i really think he's on renera's side i think that she's gonna find him and maybe recognize my guess i don't know i don't read the book so i don't know but that's where i think this is going and that's gonna give her the idea that okay maybe we need to try bastards crazy i think i figured it out okay don't come for me if that was so obvious i don't read the book so i don't know <laughs> speaking of the books um is that girl named Mas Masandra, son Masandri, whatever does that happen in the books with her and Rhaenyra? Because it caught me so off guard and it was kind of awkward for me to watch. I, I skipped it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, that was such a curveball. I did not see that coming at all. But so is she buying the books, guys? Like, please tell me. I would like to know because no one said anything about that. That's interesting. Are they trauma bonding? Because they both dealt with Damon. I don't know, y'all. I'm just ready for the next episode. This one was kind of boring. Yeah.